Well, I, I'm loving and laughing with you. Uh, I, I, I love the title of your book, uh, Goddesses Never Age. Yeah. So you're speaking, and will you speak a little bit more broadly about uh, what hydration has to do with, with aging? This is a really uh, broad question, it's, it's, but it's an extremely important question. Um, and one form of asking it is, of course, um, does dehydration accelerate aging? But another way to ask, and perhaps much more interesting and an important way to ask about this, is how can hydration change aging? Well, my feeling is that anything that keeps a cell vibrantly hydrated and gives you turgor in your collagen, in your skin, all of that, is going to delay and postpone what we call aging. Or as Dr. Mario Martinez says, getting older is inevitable. Aging is optional. So there's all these things that you can do. But now this is funny because I have a friend named Sandra Chu who's an acupuncturist in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn. And I gave her a copy of Quench. It has transformed her entire practice. Now what she does, everyone who comes in, she makes them take a screenshot of the book and then buy the book and then do your hydration program because she said, here's what she's finding. And so she's, her practice is upscale 30, 40, 50 something men and women in New York City, in the, you know, in Brooklyn, which is the cool place to be. Right. And she said, all they have to do, if they follow the hydration rules in your book, she said, it changes everything. It changes headaches. It changes weight control. It changes sleep, appetite, relaxation, everything. And then she took it one step further, which I am loving. So she said, get a hygrometer, and which I did on Amazon, and skin functions optimally, the whole body functions optimally, between 30 and 60% humidity. So it's winter in, in Maine where I am right now. So I got one of these things. And then I put it in my bedroom. Now, I always had a wonderful humidifier system going in the music room for the piano and the harps that I have. Okay, because they needed 40%. Good. Well, then after talking with Sandra, I realized, wait a minute. I'm treating my harps better than my own body. My bedroom, <laughs> yeah, my bedroom was 21%. Oh, my so I began to put a humidifier in there. And begin to notice when it's between 40 and 60, again, sleep is better. You don't wake up with a dry throat, any of that thing. Mm 